Hey guys, Mike with SB Reflights. Quick video on how to program the SB Reflights timer models. This would include the S-Box Pro 16 inch and 32 inch. Uh, quick walkthrough though, I'm going to show you all the functions of the remote and also how to uh, set the timer. This is a early uh, prototype light so the uh, control panel will be just slightly different in terms of the channel names. This one if you look, and hopefully I can get this to focus for you. Come on. Uh, if you look, it's got a red channel. That's actually the moonlight. Uh, this initial prototype uh, just didn't have the programming to call it that. Yours, you can change the names to show uh, blue, white, and moonlight channel, no problem. So the first things I'll show you is on the remote itself. If you look at the bottom three buttons, um, this is going to be turning off the blues. This one's going to turn off the whites. And this one turns the moonlights on and off. So if I turn the other two off, everything's off. Now I've got moonlights. Now I've got whites, now I've got blues, and I've got all three. So each of these will be different. Now this remote is a universal remote that's used for all of our lights. And so on the elite ramping models, the moon, custom, and manual actually mean something. Cloudy means something. Sunny means something. Uh, but for the timer, it's literally just channel 1, 2, and 3. And they'll line up with the order that they are on the uh, screen as well. Uh, power button up at the top, quite simple. Turns the unit off turns the unit back on. Uh, the menu button, when you hit that, will allow you to go in and see if I can get this to focus for us. And I can rename my channels. So for example, if I want to go in and change blue to say white or red, I can do that. I'm going to leave it blue though. But just showing you, you can scroll through using the arrow keys on the remote and decide what you want to call things. If we go to this button up here, second one down on the left hand side, this one is going to bring up the system clock and so you're able to change the clock using the arrow keys at that point. I'm going to leave this one alone. If you then hit this button here, this takes you into the programming and you get to decide what time each channel comes on. We're going to do that in just a second. And then the final button you're going to use is this top button right here in the middle. If we hit that, if you notice on the screen there's a clock, now there's not. There's a clock, now there's not. When the clock icon is showing, that means the timer is functional and each time it gets to a time interval that you have set, it will either turn on or off based on what you've told it to do. However, if you turn all the lights on manually and then have the timer function on, it will not turn them back off until it reaches that next interval. So as an example, uh, if you have your whites turn off at 8 p.m. and at 9 p.m. you turn them on manually and then you turn on the timer function, which technically should turn them off at 8 o'clock, they won't turn off until the next day at 8 o'clock. So it works kind of like the, the wall timers. If you've ever used those with the little pins you push in and out, it actually has to turn that dial all the way around before it hits it again. So uh, one of the issues some people have when they first program this for the first time is based on what time of day you're programming it, uh, the timer may not function correctly until the following day. But in the meantime, for that first day, just turn it off manually. The next day, everything should kick on by itself, should turn off by itself. And, uh, and we'll be working properly. So let me show you how to do the programming though. So again, I'm going to hit this button right here. That brings up my program. I get to pick which channel I want to program. So I'm going to start with uh, my Moonlights. And then once you hit the Enter to select that. And now I can choose what time it comes on. So for example, I have the Moonlights coming on at 9. Now they're coming on at 10. Change it back to 9. And then right here, this is the important part most people seem to miss. This has to say on or OF for off, has to say one of the two, and people tend to skip by it, go right to the next time, and then their timer doesn't work, and they can't figure out why. So this is probably the most important part, is make sure that says on. These right now are set to be off at a, uh, 11 p.m., and so we're going to change that, and we're going to let those be off at 9 p.m., so that would be a 12-hour cycle. I'll put it back the way we had it, and then of course I'm turning it off. Now, on the bottom. The bottom is a second time set that you can use if you want. This particular timer is also used in uh, hydroponic units, and there are some hydroponic uh, growers that like to run two cycles per day. They'll run, say, eight hours of light, four hours of darkness, and then they'll do another eight hours of light, another four hours of darkness. So just the fact it's kind of a universal timer, it does have that second set. And I just timed out, so let me go back in here. And so on my moonlights here, I've got them on for 14 hours total, and all I do is on the second set of times, 
is go ahead and make it identical to the top set of times. And that's the easiest way to make sure there's no mistakes. Again, pick on, make sure you pick off for the last channel, and then when you're done, hit enter, and that channel's done. You would then hit this button again, and now I can pick the blues. And so the blues, I'm gonna run for 12 hours. And I've got those from 10 to 2200, it is military time. I make sure that I have my on and my offset and then I make sure that the bottom one matches as well. And I'm just using the arrow keys side to side to switch between them, hitting enter. Up and down will change the function, enter will leave the screen. So when I'm happy, I hit enter. And then I can hit it one more time and now do the white channel. And the white channel I'm gonna run for 10 hours. Now, the photo cycle you run, it really is up to you. I run a longer cycle, I run the, the moons for 14 hours, I run the blues for 12 hours, and I run the whites for 10, so that uh, we can enjoy the tank a little longer. Uh, but we reduce the intensity a little bit uh, so that we're giving the right amount of energy to our corals. So really up to you. Uh, I think most people typically run about eight hours on the whites and about 10 hours on the blues. But again, we've run a little bit longer. Now the moonlights, uh, th there's three three watt LEDs on these six inch units. It's actually a lot of power for a moonlight. And so most people will run them for a couple hours each night, but certainly not all night. They are bright enough that if you leave them on all night, your corals don't get a chance to rest and respirate and they're actually uh, healthier by not running it the entire night. So I use it as a three-stage ramp by having the, the moonlights come on first for 14 hours, an hour later the blues come on for 12 hours, and then an hour later the whites come on for 10 hours. I end up with a three-step sunrise and a three-step sunset on the opposite end. And so anyway, that is how you set this um, for your reef. And the only thing to remember is this timer function. Make sure the clock is showing. Now anytime you have a power failure, when this unit comes back on, it will default to off position. So you'll have to come in and set the timer again, or excuse me, not set it, but just select it. And then you may have to hit the manual buttons to get them to turn on until it cycles through the next day. Uh, so anytime you have a power out or even a brown out or a flicker in power, check the light and make sure that it is indeed off, turn it back on, and then make sure that you select that timer function again. And that's it. That's how you set the timer function, and I'll have another video shortly on setting the ramping lights. Thanks.